G'day fellas. Welcome to a casted game between Albino, who's spawning in the west of the map, playing on British, and the fan favorite, Mashed Potato, spawning in the east of the map on the Ottomans. Now we haven't seen Mashed Potato 72 play the Ottomans before, so curious to see what kind of strategy he's going to be pulling out. He is famous for the big strategies that he pulls out. Albino, I think he's probably rated. I'm not I'm not too sure exactly where he is. I think about the, the 200 mark he's playing on the British. Now the map that we're spawning in on is Hokkaido. Hokkaido is infamous for this large volcano that it's got in the middle, sort of blocking uh, each each player uh, from sort of like traversing over through the middle. So often you see players wall across the middle or down here. Uh, towards the north, we've got the double trade routes. Now keep in mind, these are independent individual trade routes. So if you upgrade Stagecoach over on this one, you don't upgrade it over here because on some maps you do. Like as an example, Dakota gets upgraded. Uh, the other key thing is that in the back of your base, there's normally treasures. So we check and see Mashed Potato. He's got... Mash potato is AFK. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an issue. So mashed potato is, is infamous for the strategies that he pulls out. But this one is a little bit different. Uh, so mashed potato has actually gone AFK. I don't know if he's if he's like flexing right now or what he's doing. But uh, this is definitely a bit of a toxic strategy, I would say. Uh, just sitting here chilling out with his... um, Chilling out with his villagers. Uh, we're at a minute 15 now. Oh, okay. The villagers have just moved. Okay. So he's been AFK for 80 seconds. And then he's like, he's like, all right, I've got, I've got it all sorted out. Doing a little bit of a fail herd there, unfortunately, sending a v few vills past. All right. So Mashed Potato is now, he's playing from the pocket. He's given, him, he's given his opponent a little bit of an advantage. Just said, you know what? That's, that's how we do it. So we take a look at the opponent. We see where he's up to. Almost got that first shipment in. And, uh, and going to be sending in, I'm assuming, oh, what is three vills. We'll take a look at the opponent. Grabbing this 40 XP treasure as well. Not too bad as well. We'll have a look at the deck. See what Albino's up to. 1v1 Barca. Uh, so we've got the two Caravels. The Frigate in here as well. Uh, Virginia Company as well. So off, often people will op opt for Schooners on water maps. But on this map in particular, Schooners is a card you'd probably want to avoid. There's just simply not enough fish in the sea on this one. So three whales and about nine fish is normally what spawn in here. So not the best. Uh, and now when it comes back to mashed potato, we'll take a look and see what he's doing. He's dropping down that trading post. Uh, got the house in the base. Nothing else really happening with his wood. Hasn't dropped down a mosque or anything like that. Now, keep in mind, even though he was AFK, technically, he was still training villagers that time uh, because he is the Ottomans and you don't have to actually train villagers with the Ottomans. So sending three villagers now from the home city, playing with the deck land, mashed potato is. So it's, uh, I would definitely say this is a deck orientated more towards the Fortress Age and the Industrial Age. A couple of interesting cards that we've got in here, the Six Spahi, as well as the uh, the Mosque Construction and the Palace Intrigue. So for anybody unfamiliar, there's actually a strategy called the Riot Coke FI. Uh, I don't think I've covered it on the channel before. The Riot Coke FI is, it's an Ottoman fast industrial strategy where you get Nizam fus Fusiliers. And Nizam Fusiliers are unique to the Ottomans. You can't actually train them. You can only get them from the home city. Uh, your Janissaries basically turn into them and it's essentially done through the Palace Intrigue, so the unique church card. So I'm not sure if this is exactly uh, what we're going to be seeing out of Mashed Potato 72 today, whether we're going to be looking for that Riot Coke FI. Uh, we'll take a look, tune back in with our Beano, see what he's up to. So he's on the way up, got a pretty early age up time going up with the Governor, dropping down the market in transition as well. Going to be picking up this 80 food treasure, not a bad treasure at all in the early game. Uh, hasn't gone for Virginia Company. Hasn't taken a trading post, which is something that we do often see British players do, especially on maps with trading posts that spawn quite close. We'll see if he goes for a Virginia company as his second card. Highly unlikely. Probably just going to be going with the 700 wood at this point in time. And we'll take a look and see. Back at Mashed Potato now, sending in the Quartermaster. Now, look how late he is aging up. It's 3 minutes 37. And the, this age up's been in queue for what? 10 seconds? 15 seconds, maybe? So, Mashed Potato is going to be running a little bit slower than usual. Typically, you'd be aging up about now as the Ottomans. But, you know, Mashed Potato, he, he likes to play with a little bit of style. And that's definitely something that he's doing here. So, dropping down the mosque as well. Transitioning a few villages over to Queen. So, definitely looking like he's probably going to be playing with that fast fortress. But is going up with the Quartermaster. That's something to remember with the Quartermaster. Instead of with the Governor, something that we do see often with Ottoman players is that they will go up with the Governor. And the governor's going to be providing them, you know, that 200 coin, that outpost wagon, just like Albino's gone up with. So Albino now sending in the 700 wood as his first card and the outpost wagons moving forward. A little bit of a misplay here, sending the outpost wagon to the back. But we've got the outpost now moving forward and the villager who is building a manor. So it's going to pop out the, the two, send them back over to the left-hand side. Probably going to be dropping down in barracks down here anytime soon. We'll take a look at his explorer. 
and see exactly what he's explored so far. So he definitely knows what is up in the opponent's base now. Knows he's taken this trading post. He'd be aware that he's only taken the one, though, so far. Uh, could potentially be going for the second one. Could be doing some sort of stagecoach shenanigan. Definitely are options open to him. A little bit of a uh, an XP treasure back here as well. These are really nice XP treasures because the Stone Monkey is going to give you eight. And then you've got the 35 here. So it's like a 43 XP treasure. So not too bad. Basically speeds up your next shipment by about, ele I think it's, is it 22 seconds, 23 seconds, something like that. So not, not a bad shipment at all. We've got the 400 wood now coming in underneath the town center. 700 coin is on the way for Mashed Potato 72. Looking to take the next trading post uh, to the north here. We'll take a look at the next card that he sends in behind that. Gathering up the 307 coins. So just uh, overgathering just a little bit there. We'll take a look back at Albino. Albino now getting steel traps from the market. Going to be getting placer mines behind this. And uh, yes. and looking to open with just a very standard British play. Barracks is a little bit close to the coast for comfort. He should be checking out the opponent's deck, uh, knowing that he doesn't have a frigate in here and that he's going to be relatively safe from it. But one of the things that is always optional is that your opponent can sort of begin to pressure you on the water. And if that happens, you know, if, there, if there's a frigate here, then you just lose this. It's guaranteed gone. So you're just wasting 200 wood. So maybe next time Albino can think, maybe I might just put my barracks up here towards the front of the town center. Or if I want to put it, you know, adjacent, I could just chuck it up to the north, something like that. Because uh, it's a bit dangerous chucking them down here. So now the musketeers are moving out. Five minutes, 47. Now, keep in mind, Mashed Potato 72 did age up quite late. So, pretty late age up. Taking trading post now. So, second trading post has been taken. Third trading post now beginning to be taken. Also got to get, get this age up in queue. This is a relatively quick age up, considering that he, he was AFK in the beginning of the game for close to two minutes, realistically. Nice hunt out here. Needs to probably get herded in sooner rather than later. 700 wood now coming in behind that. Going up with the Admiral of the Ocean Sea. Okay, this is definitely the indicator to me that he is opting for a uh, for a fast industrial or going to be going for the build so the build oh well he can't do the build the build requires a town center wagon in the first day in the third age uh, but hasn't been hasn't been elected to go with here now got the four musketeers moving out so these four musketeers four musketeers is the key number to two shot a villager so if you've got five muskets it's going to two shot a villager as well but four is, is the break point if you've got only three muskets you're going to need three shots from each musket to uh kill a villager but four is like is the key amount so albino doing some pretty nice work there uh really uh understanding the british and knowing exactly what he uh what he wants to uh what, what he wants to achieve and and being very careful not to lose that that fourth musketeer there so beginning to lay some siege now to the trading post to the north doing the right thing adding a stable in as well so stable behind the town center now so five musketeers coming out as well on the front line going to be, be applying more pressure potentially idling mash potato 72 he's up about halfway now seven minutes has just passed so he could have technically been up right now if he wasn't afk for that first minute and 20 seconds of the game but you know what mash potato is like he likes playing with a little bit of flair going up with that fourth trading post as well right now so uh gonna have plenty of experience coming in we don't see any other shipments coming in. No unique church shipment coming in. Now, keep in mind, he did send through that 700 uh, wood. And with that 700 wood, he's been able to put up all of the remaining trading posts. So he put up the two trading posts at the front, or in the, in the, the top, rather, uh, with the 400 wood from his age up. And then he's got another 200 wood that he's used right here. So he's got 500 wood sitting in the bank right now. Now, he hasn't sent in that unique church card. Uh, that, that is one of the key factors here i'm curious whether he's probably just going to be sending in the the 1000 coin he's also got a lot of idle villagers at the moment so he's just getting idled out by these two musketeers doing a qu quite a decent job of just sort of preventing mashed potato 72 from aging up going any further do we see that thousand coin coming in as the next shipment also going to be sending in the, across the galley now keep in mind the thousand coin is coming in dropping down a house as well to Hussar is going to be doing a little bit more idling. And this is just quite obnoxious, to be honest. Like, just just one or two units idling me really frustrates me. Because it's my entire economy that's going to be idled. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Mashed Potato 72 is behind by about 2,500 score. So not looking the best. 1,000 coin is coming in on the way. Is uh, The Explorer now for Mashed Potato 72 is almost going to be taken out. Uh, quite a, a low HP Explorer. Almost, and just managing to get away. Very low HP. Uh, Hassan now moving across, going to be taking out this trading post. We'll take a look and see exactly what uh, Albino's up to. Albino's still up by about 3k score now, so really starting to push ahead. Up 42 villages. We'll do a bit of a stock take. 42 villages. And one of the things that I mentioned earlier, even though we saw that Mashed Potato 72 didn't actually have any water 
cards in his deck. He's aged up with the Admiral of the Ocean Sea, which means he's got a galley. The galley with the 20 range attack is going to be able to take down this barracks. So very, very unfortunate for Albino. Big, big mistake uh, with that regard. So just going to be losing that 200 wood. Going to be losing all the uh, all the additional tempo from, uh, from not having that barracks up. Shipping in two caravels as well. So two caravels from here. It's a, I would say, a big overreaction. He probably thinks that his opponent might be water booming. He's done a bit of scouting down here, hasn't seen any docks. I would say this is a huge overreaction. From here, instead, you could be sending 700 coin. You could be aging up with this, which is exactly what you want to do. Like, you look at this macro. This is perfect age up macro right now. Imagine if that was 700 coin. You'd be collecting it up, move a, a few more villagers over. But all you're going to be doing now is just killing the galley, which was going to just be killing a mana house. And that's exactly what you want as a British player. Now, obviously, you haven't sent in... Um, you haven't sent in your uh, your Virginia company, so it's going to be a bit more expensive, but hey, you don't mind that. So now we've got more Hussars continuing to idle. Mash Potato 72. Mash Potato 72 now sending through Mosque Construction. So all unique Ottoman Mosque improvements cost 60% less. That's a huge amount. So it means that all of their uh, villager upgrades as well as the unique cards, so Palace Intrigue, is going to be uh, costing a lot less. And we take a look at the resources right now that Mash Potato's got uh, secured here. We'll have a look and see whether we get any any upgrades coming in. More Hussars now just sieging down these trading posts. And just very slowly, Albino's doing a great job of just keeping these uh, these trading posts down. But we see the scores now starting to break ahead. We've got a 5k difference in score. More than a 5,000 score lead now breaking out for Albino. And he's really just started, starting to put on the hurt. Mashed Potato 72 is in a little bit of a difficult spot, we'd say. We'll have a look back at Albino. We'll see what he's up to. It looks like he's, uh, he's just chilling out behind the dock. So definitely an overinvestment in the water. A bit of an overreaction, if I would if I would say. Um, and he's dropped down a barracks in the appropriate spot. This is where the first barracks definitely should have gone down. Not down here to the south. A little bit too far away. Much better spot over here. So we've got three Hussars in queue. So still doing a little bit of idling. And we'll take a look back at Mashed Potato. See what he's up to. Score lead now pulling out to 6,000. Albino is um is just miles ahead of Mashed Potato 72 at this point. Mashed Potato has been relegated to some berries, unfortunately. So really looking to just age up to the uh, the fourth age here. Doing his best to get up. We take a look at Albino. Albino going to be burning down this last trading post. He's got 15 Hussars out. 10 muskets. So that's more than enough to really put on the hurt. 51 villages at this point versus the 21. So more than 30 villages ahead at this point. Now, Mashed Potato really just needs to try and get up as best he can. But he's going to be in a difficult spot. Now, gathering up a 1,000 wood. It's going to be enough for him to call the Nizam Fusiliers. They're going to pop out of this town center. Take a look at the damage that's being done here. The Hussars will have a look from Albino's perspective. And watch what happens. Those Nizams are going to pop out. And they're going to absolutely deal with this. Now, keep in mind, this is at 11 minutes. Mashed Potato could have been up a minute ago, but he, he's not, simply because he was idle in, in the beginning of the game. Now the Nizam Fusilier is coming out, one of the most interesting units in the game, simply because their bonuses change depending on the stance that they're in. So you can see this kind of formation that they're in. They're doing this little box stance. That's going to give them additional range against cavalry at range. So not just hand, ranged attack as well, just like the Corolian would do. So Mashed Potato now... In a bit of a difficult spot. Calling Minutemen as well. I think that's almost a little bit preemptive. I don't think Minutemen is definitely necessary here. The Nizams would have been more than enough to hold. We'll have a look at the, the stats as well. 252 HP. So more than uh, Veteran Musketeers. About 70 HP more than a Veteran Musketeer. So very, very decent. Going to have to gather up those resources that he did for uh, for for uh, calling the Minutemen. We'll have a look and see. So now you can see the Nizam Fusiliers. Take a look. So now they've got a bonus against infantry. So that's like a Lancer. That's not heavy infantry. That's not light infantry. That's all infantry the Nizam Fusiliers have got. And now they're doing a charge just like the Corollians have got. So really complex units. But keep in mind, you can't make these. You can only ship these from the home city and with the unique church card. We take a look. You can actually see 12 Nizam Fusiliers, 8 Nizam Fusiliers, 5 Nizam Fusiliers. So they come instead of Genissaries. Now, you can still make Janissaries out of the barracks, but uh, they kind of have a look, a little bit of a look like um, Highlanders do. You know, like the the, uh, the Scottish Highlanders? Huge mass right now for Albino. Albino's going to be trying to catch out Nizam Fusilier's uh, out of position, but uh, not managing to do so. Just being very, very careful. He's got to be careful, though. That's the problem. Oh, my lord. Take a look at the score. We've got an 8k score lead now going out for Mashed Potato at this point. Mashed Potato definitely uh, going to be in a difficult spot, but going up, going to be going up with the Grand Vizier. So I th if I remember correctly, the Grand Vizier is the three spa. He's now Mashed Potato 72 being very, very cheeky, spotting some villagers up to the north here. Got to be careful with them. Now, these villagers do have their great coats, so going to be focusing down the villagers, which is the right choice. 
They do only have 24 attack, the Nizam, Fu Nizam Fusilier, so a little bit more than a standard Musketeer with 23. I think a veteran Musketeer must have about maybe 27, 28 attack. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it looks like the Nizam Fusilier is going to get caught out here. There's one indicating where it's going to go, but it goes into the Fog of War. We see Arbino's now moving up. We've got 12 uh, Hussars. Now, these don't have any upgrades on them, as well as a whole bunch of Musketeers and Minutemen moving up towards the north. Going to be potentially trying to find these Nizam Fusiliers, but it looks like uh, Albino is going to come out empty-handed behind this, also sending cavalry hit points and just doing a very standard British thing, saying, you know what, I'm not going to play age 3 I'm just going to play age 2 And this is very, uh, very quintessentially British. They don't mind staying. They can spend the entire game in the second age. They are not fussed at all. And that's very typical of what we see. Now the Nizam, Nizam Fusiliers now showing themselves, doing a little bit of harassment on the villagers here. Gotta be careful. Looks like he's probably gonna get caught out here. Hassar is definitely doing a bit of work. Coming in now from the north hand side. We'll take a look back at Mash Potato 72, see what he's up to. He's going up to the fourth age Grand Vizier. Now keep in mind these units are gonna shadow tech. He needs to try and keep them alive until he reaches the fourth age. And the stats on these units are gonna be increased. Changing stance again. We see that moving over, getting that ranged attack against cavalry. Just doing a lot of work, taking out two Hussars now. Going to have that up, the upgrade coming through. Take a look at the stats. 252 HP goes up to... How much does it go up to? 315. So getting a nice, decent chunk of stats right there. An extra 5 attack as well. But it looks like these Nizam Fusiliers are going to get chased down. We do actually see 12 Nizam Fusiliers getting called in from the home city. And we've got a bit of a raid happening at the moment. 17 villagers remaining for mashed potatoes. So apologies. I did miss those raids. The Spahi are now up cleaning the Hussars out. But the score lead is still huge at this point. More than a 9,000 score lead that we've got. The last of the Nizam Fusiliers go down. And we've got Topku Corps getting called in. Topku Corps is the three great bomb bombards. You see them in here. And they are indeed going to be coming in. Going to be doing a lot. Take a look. Three, two, one here. Look at the population. Ready? Boom. 60 population now. Over popping by more than 20. Picking up a couple of houses now, Mashed Potato is. But still down 7k score at this point. So he's got a lot to contest with. You've got to keep that in mind. So really at this point, it's just, you know, you've got these three great bombards. It would be so great if uh, instead of giving up those Nizam Fusiliers over here, that, was, that must have been about, what, 16, 17 Nizam Fusiliers that he gave up? And now, you know, when you think about that, that the, the, the potential difference in push power that you've got, You've got the three Great Bombards and 12 Nizam Fusiliers. Well, that could have been 30 Nizam Fusiliers. And, and how do you even deal with that? Now, we take a look at the Great Bombards. Great Bombards obviously being unique to the Ottomans. Uh, one of the key things to remember with the Great Bombard is it has a very high base damage. And then it has negative multipliers against everything else with the exception of ships. So that means against things like, uh, you know, cavalry, artillery. It's going to be doing this really high base damage, especially infantry as well. Really, really, really high base damage. Uh, and a lot of AoE as well. A huge amount of siege here against buildings. It doesn't have any multipliers. It doesn't need it just because the base damage is just quite simply that high. Now we take a look at the next shimmer that could be coming in. Could be the two Great Bombards. Imagine five Great Bombards out. How does your opponent even respond to that when they're in the second age? Now they are going up to the third age. So I guess that's probably going to be what the appropriate response is. Most likely going to be going for culverins. I wouldn't be surprised to see back here an artillery foundry drop down. This would be a very good spot for an artillery foundry because it's away from the main base. you got to keep in mind that when your opponent's pushing on you, a bit of a raid back here as well, 12 Hussars now, cleaning up some villages. Let's take a look and see Mashed Potatoes down to 16 villages. He's got 10 idle villages and 6 that are mining or uh, chopping back here. But you gotta, you got to keep in mind, right, from Albino's perspective, his opponent is going to push in, potentially take out this town center. You don't want to be putting down your artillery foundry here or here or here. If you do, your opponent's going to take that out before you get your culvern out. And that's really what Albino needs to be waiting for. So we see that at Artillery Foundry going down a wonderful spot. Very, very well done. Barracks going to go up as well. So Barracks has gone down at the front. So going to have no option to research that veterancy. Going up with the Bishop. The Bishop's going to be providing, I think, the Town Center wagon. Probably not the right choice at this point in time because Mashed Potato is pushing in with a decent amount of, uh, of bombards. I would probably be saying, hey, you, you might want to just like get some units out instead because a Town Center, like oh, you probably shouldn't be booming at this point. You probably want to get some units out. Uh, also getting log fume at this point, uh, probably want to be spending that on a culverin. You need a culverin right now. In fact, you needed a culverin like six minutes ago, my friend. Sending two Falks from the home city, definitely the right choice. Take a look at populations. We've got 148 population against 67 population now. So almost 100 population difference. 8,000 score difference. That it's, it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Mashed Potato now sitting here with a shipment just still ready. I'm not sure exactly what he's waiting for. Probably want to have this Explorer up as well. 
the uh, the explorer is going to uh, enable you to uh, take out you know a, a, a hussar when it comes in, which is putting on a lot of damage right now. Albino uh, getting housed as well, so despite having all of the uh, the resources to build a well, he's got enough coin to build three uh, culverin. He can't actually build any culverin. We've now got those two falconets coming out. Needs to be careful. The Great Bombards are going to snipe those in one shot, I believe. Uh, we take a look at the stats. Yeah, they would do it in one shot. They would kill a, a Falconet. So, got to be careful of that. Still down down 10k score at this point and getting pushed in. So, um, you know, often people will say, hey, you, you're down a lot of score. Just give up. Well, take a look at this game, for example. Mashed Potato 72 is just putting in a lot of work and uh, really doing it from behind. He was AFK at the beginning of the game, but you know, his creativity knows no bounds. We take a look at the cannonball. Let's see if it rolls into the stable, potentially damaging it. No, it does fade away. We've now got the Nizam Fusiliers pushing up with the Spahi. We'll take a look at Mashed Potato, see what he's going... Oh, he's, you know what he's doing? He's saving up for the Spahi. I'm sitting here wondering, why isn't he using that shipment? Oh, never mind. There's six guard Spahi coming in right now. He's also got the option for five Spahi as well. Now, keep in mind, Spahi, as well as Nizam Fusiliers, Shadow Tech. You might be wondering, what's a Shadow Tech, Drongo? Shadow Tech is where something upgrades automatically. You know your, your Genissaries, your Musketeers, you're going to have to upgrade those at a stable or at a barracks. You don't need to do that with Spahi. You don't need to do it with Nizam Fusiliers. They shadow tech. They automatically upgrade it for you. So it's quite expensive when you think about it. You know, it, when you're talking about the guard upgrades, that's 600 wood, 600 coin. That's a lot of resources and you don't have to worry about it with the Spahi. They do it all for you. The Nizam Fusiliers are exactly the same. Now sending in five Spahi as well. This is a lot of Spahi. Uh, so these are basically like uh, gendarmes. They're, they're kind of like tanky gendarmes at this point. And really just doing a lot with the great bombards as well. So many good shipments that he could potentially be sending in behind this Mashed Potato 72 is. Uh, but also got the settlers here. Got to be careful pushing up. Mashed Potato 72 looks like he's just getting on the aggressive. He's got the five Spahi in behind, but he's not even going to wait for it. One Spahi getting sniped down. We've got all the rest of the Spahi, seven Spahi now, getting on top of the Musketeers. Also doing a little bit of damage on the Hussars. And a huge volley going off on the back line. We've got three Culverin that are out. Now, Mashed Potato 72 would have seen that from the Bombard Balls that have come in. We'll take a look at Albino. We'll see what he's got. He's got four Culverin that are sitting here. Takes the shot. First Bombard is going down. The Zarm Fusilier is moving up. And then a huge volley on the back line. Taking out a whole bunch of Minutemen as well as the, mu the Musketeers. Second Great Bombard now going down. But it looks like he's going to be losing all of his Culverin before the third Great Bombard can go down. Gets a beautiful volley off on the back line again. And despite that, we see the score lead still ahead for Albino. It does look like Mashed Potato is starting to pull back ahead. Two Falconets on the back line. Going to be doing a little bit of damage towards the Nazam Fusiliers, but absolute destruction from Mashed Potato 72. I didn't think we'd see this, honestly. When he was AFK at the beginning, I thought, you know what? He's probably going to be in a bad spot here. But it turns out Mashed Potato 72, where there's a will, there's a way. And when there's a Mashed Potato, there is definitely a gravy. And it definitely looks like Albino is going to be stuck in the gravy this evening. Because uh, we've now got the Bombard. Let's let's take a look and see what the Bombard does to these five Musketeers. These poor souls. Give it to him, boy. Give it to him, boy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he goes flying. Only doing a, a little bit of damage to the Musketeer on the right. But uh, now we've got five more Spahi coming in as well. 74 villages for Albino. He's just recently reached the, the Fortress Age. Definitely going to have a few villages cleaned up here. That's for sure. Now, in addition to that 74 villages, he's also got the Caravel that's down here. Caravel not doing any fishing. At the moment, could potentially be doing it, though. Uh, Spahi now going to be cleaning up these villages. Look at the uh, splash damage that's coming out. They do splash damage exactly like gendarmes or cuirassiers do from the French. That splash damage just bit doing absolute work. Look at all these villages in. How many villages have we got out here? We've got 20 villages that are out here going to get potentially caught. Five Hassan now coming out. Probably needs to be Dragoons at this point. You're on the Fortress Age. You do see your opponents making guard Spahi. You've got to be getting out those Dragoons. Hassars are just going to be dying so, so quickly against the Spahi. Look at those swings. Just absolute menacing. 1,087 hit points now for the Ottoman player. He does have Cav Combat for them. Now, keep in mind, he's got the option to send factories here, but he's not even sending those. He's sending Cav Combat instead. And these Spahi are just cleaning up all the villages. Now, imagine if there were Dragoons behind this. They'd be doing real damage. We've got the Falconet down here to the south. It looks like Mashed Potato 72 might have, might have scouted that out. Uh, he might actually be pulling back at this point. We'll take a look and see where the, where the reinforcements are from his army. He's actually got some Nizam Fusiliers down here to the south. So probably going to be looking to regroup with that. Guard, great Bombard. 268 hit points. We'll take a look and see if Albino's managed to make any... Uh, we don't have any Culverin in queue. We've got a single Falconet, though. So probably wants to be making a couple Culverin. I think that's definitely a wise choice at this point. Just because uh, you're going to have to neutralize the Great Bombard somehow. And the Great Bombard is going to neutralize you. 
Uh, just based on the fact that uh, it, it one-shots you. That, that's essentially it. Uh, so Brits are definitely still in a great position. 50 villagers. They're in the third age versus Mashed Potato, who's on 22 villagers. He's got to be careful, though. Five Hussars going to potentially take out these great bombards, but looking to just do a bit of idling at this point. A lot of villagers on low HP here. The coin miners run out in his base. He moves back towards the town center. Bombards manage to get out without being spotted by the Five Hussars. And still we've got Menas being burnt down, as well as a trading post that's now being sieged by the Great Bombard. There's nothing else that really remains here. Spahi moving back as well. Now, if he, if he was good, he would have spotted that as they moved back. Just a couple of mana houses down here. But uh, the, the Hussars now moving towards the back of the base, seeing if they can spot any more villagers down here that are going to come up empty-handed, though. Because every single villager, I would suspect, every single villager is inside that town center. Going to be catching out the Hussars now with the Spahi. Looks like he's going to get a good connection here. Should be able to pick up most of these, if not all of them. Going to be getting out the first... Look at those hits, just taking them out. Gets the hits on the last one. We've still got that Great Bombard going off. We've got one Great Bombard as well as the second one. Uh, second and third. Going to be taking out the Manor Houses now. Got Robber's Baron coming in, which is going to be providing that delicious factory wagon. Going to be providing probably like maybe close to 50% additional resources for the uh, Ottoman player. So Mashed Potato 72 is going to be in a good spot. We've got the Great Bombards that almost managed to take off a shot against those Hussars. I think they probably would have been close to one-shotting them. Uh, 250 damage they would have ended up doing, uh, which would have taken out the first Hussar, not the second one though. And now the Manor Houses are going down. Albino still sitting at about 120 pops, so not doing too bad. Slowly rebuilding up his economy, up to 53 villages, dropping down a whole bunch of mana houses. Has he sent... He doesn't have a thousand wood in his deck, just decided... Does he have Virginia Company? He does have Virginia Company, hasn't sent it. So really just doing a lot of investing in his economy at this point. Uh, probably not the wisest decision. I still think at this point he, he kind of needs to get Dragoons out as well as getting out... Uh, Culverin. Culverin are really going to be able to help him here. He's dropping down more mana houses as well. So I think it's probably the wrong time for mana houses, Albino. We now see scores have begun to even up. Mashed Potato has managed to pull ahead, or not ahead, but about 200 points within the score. Albino slightly ahead. We've got, uh, we don't have any upgrades yet. We've got Hussars that are still base. We've got Longbowmans that are still base. No upgrades on the Musketeers just yet. So we, the only thing that's a veteran in here are the Dragoons. We take a look back at Mashed Potato 72, see what he's up to. Has he sent in that factory? He has sent in that factory. It's sitting in the middle. Nice and safe. A pretty good spot here. Relatively safe from P-Tards. Your opponent's not going to scout it. It's it's quite safe, but it's training great bombards straight away. Not even like, you know, not even missing a beat. Now sending in Mamelukes as well. Uh, so just when you thought that, um, yeah, that, that the uh, unit shipments were over, the Mamelukes are coming in now. So Mashed Potato definitely... Uh, on his game when it comes to this one. Going to be losing a couple more villagers out here. Now, who cares if Ottoman lose villagers? Those villagers are for free. Uh, in all seriousness, though, you do kind of care when you lose villagers. So, going to be losing a couple more. Going down to 16 villagers or 17 villagers at the moment. The last one, the, si the 17th villager, is not idle. Now it's dead. So, Nizam Fusiliers are moving up, posturing in a good spot. We'll take a look at Albino, see where he's up to. Don't have any Culverin in queue yet. Now, your opponent has got three Great Bombards. You know that they've got three Great Bombards. Why aren't you making Culverin out? Bino, you need to get these out. Despite that pulling ahead 3k in score, Hussars are moving back as well. The Zarm Fusilier is a place very well, just between where the potential Hussars could come from and the Great Bombards. Great Bombards moving up. Nice micro here as well. He's moving them in between shots. Now, keep in mind, they take eight seconds to reload their, their, uh, their barrels. Eight seconds compared to, say, the six seconds of a normal heavy cannon. And we've got the Explorer now waking up. Looks like he could potentially get off a crack shot here. Not going to happen. N the uh, Guard Spahi are now moving in on top of the uh, Hussars. The Zahn Fusilier is on the back. And it looks like we've got a bit of a vill pull right now. Albino's pulling the vills. He says, you know what? It's time to go. We've got 60 villagers. Let's get them all into the action. We've got great bombards on the back line. Let's see if they can take out shots over on the opponent. And they get one shot off. No units go down. Let's see if the second one goes off. Second, third volley goes off, taking out a few. Spahi on the front line, just doing a lot of work. Let's remember those M Mamelukes. Where are they? We've got four Mamelukes also coming in to think about. Ooh, huge volley coming off now. The Great Bombard's getting in on top. We'll take a look back at Albino, see what he's up to. There's no Culverins in queue at this point. Despite having all the resources for Culverins, he could get two Culverins out right now, pop them, take out both of these Great Bombards, and he'd be in a lovely spot. But instead, he's going to try and move up. Musketeers moving into melee mode, taking out the first Great Bombard, second and third Great Bombard, turning around, doing a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of an age of my string. A huge volley goes off, taking out like eight muskets right there. And now the Mamelukes move in on top. Going to be taking out the Falconet. And it looks like Mashed Potato 72 has actually turned Albino into a potato stew. Because at this point, 
The game is over. Mashed Potato 72 comes out with the victory despite being behind for the entire game and AFK at the beginning of the game. Who is going to stop this guy? He just continues to climb the ladder. It is absolutely absurd. I can't believe it. The amount of stuff that we see out of this guy. Incredibly creative. I love seeing it. If you've got any Mashed Potato 72 replays, send them in because I rely on you guys to give me this content because Mashed Potato 72 is a hard player to get a hold of. Take a look at score. Look at the score difference. Mashed Potato 72 is behind like half the score the entire game. And look at this single swing. Mashed Potato 72, how does he do it? How does he do it? What a game. Oh my Lord. All right, fellas. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.